Yo, it's your boy King Leo. I'm from the 516. Yo, are we in the land of the free, home of the brave? Nah, it's the land of the weak, home of the slaves. Y'all already know what it is. Yeah, uh, yo. I had to admit myself to the hospital twice. Ain't never worried about dying because I'm covered by Christ. That's Before right. I got sick, I stopped taking multivitamins. They turning this shit into a maneuver like the Heimlich. Emergency. Follow my lead, exercising good diet. That's gonna strengthen your immune system enough to fight it. Guess what? I got the cure for AIDS. What's Scratch that? Fuck? Matter of fact, I got the cure for AIDS. Oh, okay. I ain't never been the type to believe everything. I'm hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm up here on my top bunk at the Airbnb, but that ain't got nothing to do with this with what this video is about, okay? Um, and before I get started, guys, look. Do you guys remember? Look, basically, for those of you who who've never seen my earlier videos. I used to promote a company called Zilis, Z-I-L-I-S. Don't support that company at all. Don't support them. Because when you become an ambassador and you don't make sales within a few months or six months to a year, they're going to delete your account and you'll no longer be able to buy nothing or sell anything on your website that they initially gave you when you spent like whatever amount of money that you spent to become an ambassador. So once again, don't support Zelise. I don't support that company no more. So, but let's get into the video. Smooth Geo versus King Sid. I know a lot of y'all probably laughing at the fight because it was it was a pretty funny fight. I will admit, it was a pretty funny fight. Um, they both basically couldn't really fight. <laughs> but see, I look I look beyond the fact that they can't fight. It's okay if they can't fight. Anybody could develop skills later on in life. You see what I'm saying? Like anybody could develop fighting skills later on in life. What I love most about their fight is the fact that they got so many followers and they they are inspirational to a bunch of other youngsters. Now, listen closely listen closely to what I'm what I'm trying to tell you. They fought bare knuckle outside. They pulled up. Okay? The reason why this is so important is because these are two black men. These are two black men. Now I understand. I I, I understand. Um, in the past, you know, you had uh, <coughs> you had um, uh, Tory Lanes. You had Blueface. You had um, what's the other dude's name? I will give you the world, baby girl. That dude. You had him, and they all fought. You know what I'm saying? They, they fought one another. But I'm talking about King Sid and Smooth Geo right now, okay? What Tory Lanez and them did, that's very good, too. That's very good. So, so... At the end of the day, Smooth Geo basically won the fight because King Sid kept throwing up like he just spent the last night at, at a club or something like that. You know, he was clearly sick to his stomach. That's why he was throwing up like that. He was throwing up like crazy. King Sid, you need to get your weight up, bro. <laughs> you need to get your weight up because you you are lightweight. Like, you are lightweight. And I'm not even talking about... I'm not even talking about your... um. Your physical weight. I'm talking about you're a lightweight, as in you ain't built like that, and you need you you could you could become built like that when you work out and you exercise and you 
you could train. I mean, you guys make good money, and y'all could learn how to fight any day, okay? Y'all don't have an excuse to not take boxing classes or martial arts classes. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, the point of this video, guys, is to let you guys know um, it's not about how funny they fight or who won or who lost. The fact that they fought about their differences and then they basically shook hands. I mean, they didn't, you know, they didn't shake hands, but they basically, you know, acknowledged one another and um, they went on about their business. This is, this is really important for black people, especially young black people to see young black men because there there's way too much killing going on the majority of the young black boys nowadays if they don't like you they're gonna try to shoot you okay they're gonna try to rob you or do something to you that's very violent okay typically they'll try to shoot you and that's a pussy move pussies do that okay when you fight it out, like King Sid and Smooth Geo did, that makes you a man. That's what makes you a man. When you go out there, you bare knuckle, and whoever wins, wins. That's what makes you a man. Like, it doesn't even matter if you lose. It's not about who wins and who loses. It's about it's about the fact that you were there. It's about the fact that you you were there. I think a lot of people they get a they get the misconception that. When you lose a when you lose a fist fight, you become a bitch or you become less of a man. You don't. Life is life is full of lessons. You don't become less of a man because you lost a fight. You were in the fight. That that alone made you a man. That alone made you masculine. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanted to make this video real quick, guys. Um, leave a like. Make sure you leave a like, guys. Um, I might start doing my videos in my car just for the, just for the setup to to be a little bit, you know, um, just more appealing. You know what I mean? So, thank you for watching. Deuces. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. You can keep that $30, boy, I made of money. That's lesson learned.